welcome back again to our channel. It's EOS Marketplace News. Now for this video today, I will be giving you, as always, the latest and current update on the crypto world. Alright? So, it will be very fun for us today because I will be giving you, um, maybe, uh, yeah, I will be giving you two news for this video, alright? So stay tuned guys for more details. Okay, now without further ado, I want to give you the details now, 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 right now because I know you're excited. So let's start. So guys, for the first um, news, this is brought to us by PCN, our preferred currency news. Chinese wealth manager Lufax eyeing P2P lending with blockchain. So Lufax will transfer its entire peer-to-peer -peer or P2P lending per portfolio to the blockchain. The nature of DLT helps to improve transparency and bring down costs. Now P2P lending using blockchain can help reduce delays and allow for quick approvals. Wow. So while China's negative stance towards cryptocurrency is clear as they amid tight regulations since last year, 2017, the country's financial industry has embraced the benefits of the technology behind digital currencies. China's leading online wealth management group, Lufax, has plans to adopt the blockchain technology to cut cost and promote compliance. Now, peer-to-peer -peer lending or P2P lending. Lufax is transferring its entire peer-to-peer -peer or P2P lending portfolio worth tens of billions US dollars, guys, onto the blockchain platform according to a post of South China Morning Post, all right? The group's chief executive officer, Greg Gibb, told the ongoing Hong Kong FinTech Week 2018 on Wednesday, October 31st, 2018, that the nature of the distributed ledger technology, or DLT, is what serious players in the sector need to improve transparency and bring down cost. So according to Gibb, the P2P industry is under siege and hundreds of platforms from the existing 1,500 in business today are likely to disappear, he explained. So the problem for the P2P lending sector, not just in China, but also globally, is that it is not transparent. So if we could put all the contract terms between a borrower and the lender on the blockchain ledger, then these become unalterable, right? Could be, right? So blockchain technology by its very nature is trustless and decentralized, making it possible to transfer the ownership of assets from one individual to another with no intermediaries. In this case, banks. So the distributed ledger helps to build on the timeless peer-to-peer -peer lending and makes the whole process seamless and reduces the time it takes for the entire process to be completed. This is because smart contracts enable lenders to validate transactions, verify the legitimacy of counterparties, and perform routine account administration procedures in real time. So peer-to-peer -peer lenders using blockchain can help reduce delays, make quick approvals, eliminate the need for middlemen, and bring transparency. So just imagine how convenient life is, right? Okay, now, com compliance. So the CEO said Lufax Insurance Unit Ping will also use blockchain technology to verify the eligibility and documentation for qualified investors in China. Now, according to the invest, uh, according to the new rules on the asset management industry that came into force last May, they define a qualified investor as someone whose net financial assets are at least three million yuan, or that's um, converted to U.S. dollars. That's four hundred thirty-two thousand nine hundred fifty. All right, and gross financial assets of 5 million yuan. So the firm plan to use blockchain technology to update client documentation, including bank statements or others 
that can verify their source of income is the blockchain ledger. Gib explained. This would be similar to a digital passport whereby this is trustworthy information that also does not require um, that does not require banks to revalidate frequent that the investor is a qualified investor. All right. So guys, that is the first um, that is the first news for today. Now, on the other hand, guys, I want to show you the second news, which I find interesting also. So guys, for more updates and more news like this, you can visit PCN.today, all right? That's PCN.today, and uh, I will give you the details on how you can subscribe, all right? And what will you be getting in subscribing, all right? Okay, so guys, the second news for today is brought to us also by PCN, or Preferred Currency News. European Parliament member decentralization via DLT provides more security. Right. Now, a Maltese politician and a member of the European Parliament, Roberta Metzolo, claimed that decentralization powered by blockchain provides more security. Cointelegraph learned during her speech at the Malta Blockchain Summit last November 2, okay, last Friday. So, addressing the summit, Metsula expressed a positive stance by the European Parliament regarding the emerging industry of blockchain and cryptocurrencies. The Maltese politician revealed that the industry issues are, of course, on the agenda of the EP with its member encouraging to move adoption from this into reality. In her testimony, Metzola declared that European authorities should demonstrate to people that decentralization generated by distributed ledger technology actually provides more security. Blockchain technology is essentially about increasing trust, so its decentralized nature delivers more peace of mind, Metzola explained. Emphasizing the open attitude of the EP to the industry, Metzola called for a gentle approach in regulating the blockchain and crypto sphere, claiming that the new industry needs the right type of regulation. The member of the EP clarified that the industry required specific legislation, um, which must be adopted at the right time. So to date, members of the EP must first ensure that the European regulatory and constitutional ecosystem is flexible, in, is flexible enough to embrace the new technology, Metzola said. In this regard, Metzola mentioned that the new crypto and blockchain related legislation passed by Malta's parliament in July, calling it a good step forward. Still, the politicians stressed that the government should remain adaptable on our toes. So in mid-October, guys, Cointelegraph released an analysis on European Union or EU, countries that are getting more serious about blockchain technology within the new body called the European Blockchain, blockchain Partnership. So earlier in October, the European Securities and Markets Authority, or ESMA, funded an investigation campaign with a 1 million euro budget. Wow, big. A 1 million euro budget, budget in order to monitor, monitor fintech and crypto assets, aiming to develop universal regulations for EU financial markets as well as provide market oversight. All right. So guys, that's all for today's news. I have given you two news, all right? Those news are trending. Yeah, there are trending news for today. Now, as if you want more of these kinds of news, now visit preferredcurrency.news and as I promised, I will be giving you some details about how to subscribe. Okay, first, of course, visit preferredcurrency.news and by the way, if you want to be an affiliate, be an affiliate, okay? You just need to click, click on this link and then it will take you to the page where you can um, you can 
um, put your details on it to register. All right. Now, when you subscribe, you have two options in paying. First, you can use PayPal for a monthly recurring. That's fifteen dollars per month fiat, or you can use the Coinbase option for $180 annual subscription that's to be paid with your favorite crypto so that those are two good choices in paying right and it is very affordable guys imagine for only $15 or $180 that's crypto um and all the information that you will be receiving daily and you will be updated just imagine that one right it's a good investment all right now when you want to talk to the man behind preferred currency news then you have the luxury um, you can contact Donald Lewis directly his contact details is available on the website all right or so if you want an easy life you can directly message him on the site your name and your email is required and of course your message all right okay so guys let me show you the newsletter that you will be getting every day via email okay that's via email every day and that's 12 hours before we make these these videos all right so it's it's really literal or it's vivid that you will be the first one to get notified all right if you were in a subscriber already now these this is the newsletter that you will be getting um the news or the articles of the day here and you can you, you can join our telegram group guys to get the latest updates on EOS of course and more it will be more fun right it will be more fun I'm sorry <laughs> it will be more fun because you will be talking to us and you will get more 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 details and information okay so on the newsletter again you can also visit some websites okay can be your reference but the most important part of the um, newsletter is the Donald's research list why because on the Den uh, Donald's research list let's open here this is the Donald's research list okay it's a spreadsheet but it's not just a simple spreadsheet guys you can see here everything that you need to see yes you heard me right anything that you need to know about your token or coin is already here in just one spreadsheet so it will make your life easier it will make your life convenient and it will be hassle free right all happy okay yes i'm really i'm really into this because um it made my life easier in um in knowing the status of my token or coin because I know how important it is to keep track on the tokens or coins, right? So here, um, this first column gives us the names of the tokens or coins. And then the following columns gives us the details of the coins each and every day. So if you will subscribe, guys, you can have a copy of this spreadsheet each and every day. So the advantage will be... You can see the differences each and every day, the status of your token, and that easy. You don't need to research every website that you need to open for you to know the real status of your token or coin. Next, um, it's easy to use. A spreadsheet is really easy to use, easy to access, right? Just, you can access it anywhere and anytime. Okay. So guys, this is just a glimpse of what you will be getting, okay? Now, when you want to be the first one to get notified and updated, and when you want to keep track. By the way, this spreadsheet is not available anywhere else on the internet, but only here at preferredcurrency.news, right? So guys, if you want to have more, then subscribe now, okay? So. That's all for today. This has been Alex. Good night.